there's going to be two forms of testing that are going to be performed to uh, look for evidence of COVID-19 infection. Alberta has been a leader when it comes to testing for COVID-19. And now the province has pledged $10 million towards antibody testing. The antibody test is where there's going to be a, a blood sample taken and send that off to the lab and look to see if you have antibodies. And what that is measuring is not do you have infection today, but have you had COVID-19 at some point in the past? A member of the Canadian COVID-19 Immunity Task Force, Dr. Jim Kellner, is leading the study that investigates how children are responding to COVID-19. We're going to test 1,000 children, some of whom have been diagnosed with COVID-19, some of whom are tested and negative, and some of whom are healthy. We're going to test those children every six months for four times for over two years to say, do they have antibodies today? And then six months from now and six months after that and so on. Almost all of us experienced chicken pox as kids. And when we did get the disease, we built up those antibodies to give us immunity, meaning that we would never get it again. And while that would be the best case scenario with people who have been exposed to COVID-19, experts say they still don't know exactly what someone's immunity will be or how long it would last. Many infections are not like that. You'll develop immunity, but it doesn't last for a lifetime. It might last, in some cases, just for a few months. Often it lasts for some years, and then it can sort of go away. And then when we give vaccines, that's what we're looking to do, is to achieve providing that immunity through giving a vaccine to give you an artificial exposure to the um, infection that will bring about immunity and protection, we hope, for a very long time. Experts say the antibody test is most accurate three weeks after someone has been infected, looking specifically for antibodies that fight off the SARS-CoV-2 virus. You're not going to get an immunity passport saying you're you're positive, therefore you're protected, therefore you're bulletproof. That thing, that immunity passport concept does not exist anywhere. Unlike the nasal tests, the antibody tests are not readily available to the public. The province instead focusing on testing people within a specific study group. Soon, however, you may be able to get your hands on an antibody testing kit through either your physician or your pharmacist. Now, experts are saying that these rapid tests might not be as accurate. This concept of measuring antibody and if it's positive saying, oh, I can't get it again. I wish it were that simple. It's not that simple. Maybe eventually there'll be a test that'll be that simple, but it's not there yet. In Calgary, Allie Miller, City News.